in this lecture uh, we will mainly focus the time reversal property of uh, SA transform uh, that is the time reversal property means if there is a signal x of n and the transform is x of z and the ROC is indicated as R then uh, x of minus n is actually the time reversal form of x of n then its SA transform is represented by x of 1 by z and the ROC also we need to take the inverse 1 by R okay and uh, this we can also write in uh, another form uh, this x of z i can replace by z raised to minus 1 okay in this way also we can think and uh, another point uh, regarding the pole uh, for x of z if there is a pole at z is equal to zk okay then after time reversal the pole will move to new location that is 1 by zk after this time reversal operation so that's about uh, the pole or zero and uh, another point uh, a right handed sequence uh, becomes left handed sequence when when you perform this time reversal operation okay uh, the right handed sequence means a causal signal and left handed sequence uh, means is an anti causal signal okay now we will see how we can apply this time reversal property to solve the problem so here you can see uh, one signal uh, which is given by u of minus n okay so i can say that uh, there is a non signal uh, which is x of n uh, let it be u of n okay and the is a transform of this particular signal is a transform of the signal uh, is known uh, which is z by z minus 1 and it's a causal signal and, and you can write roc is modulus of z greater than 1 okay this is about the ROC okay that means the ROC of the first signal uh, like this uh, is a real part uh, and uh, this is imaginary uh, and is a plane uh, and at 1 and ROC is modulus of z greater than 1 means you can draw a circle and ROC is outside this particular circle okay this is the ROC of this particular question okay and now the question is uh, given y of n okay uh, actually this y of n is indicated as uh, u of minus n means it's simply x of minus n okay uh, you can write uh, y of n is simply x of minus n that is u of minus n n i can replace uh, here it is n now we can uh, take minus n or u of n is equal to minus n means you can apply the time reversal property okay time reversal property you can apply and time reversal property state that uh, when there is a time reversal it's a transform is 1 by z or you can write 1 by z divided by 1 by z minus 1 okay and uh, if you rearrange this uh, you can see that it becomes uh, 1 by 1 minus z okay this is a is a transform of this particular signal and the roc uh, also you need to replace z by 1 by z is greater than 1 it's okay uh, here it is uh, modulus of z greater than 1 now this z is uh, changing to z is changing to 1 by z based on this property okay so if you rearrange this you can write uh, it becomes uh, modulus of 1 greater than modulus of z if you cross uh, rearranging this after cross multiplying you will get like this so i can uh, rearrange this roc is modulus of z less than 1 so the new roc will be like this in the z plane this is z plane and this is imaginary axis and this is real axis and uh, this is a point one and and you can draw a circle here and modulus of z less than one means inside the circle so this is the roc okay, inside the circle so this is the roc of the signal and this is about u of minus n. Now we'll uh, discuss another question. 
which is given by uh, u of sorry y of n is equal to a raised to minus n u of minus n and again uh, we can compare with the standard signal uh, this is a slightly modified version so x of n is a raised to n into u of n you are familiar with this particular signal and this signal is actually the time reversal of x of n okay so i can write the SA transform of this particular signal this is again a non signal the standard result is z by z minus a and the roc i can say its modulus of z greater than a okay uh, and if you take the graph and if there is a point called a and this is imaginary and this is real and is it plain and ROC is outside this circle okay. this is the ROC of this particular signal and now uh, the Y of n is actually the time reversal of X of minus n means we need to replace this uh, n to minus n then you will get y of n you can see that uh, it simply replace n by minus n u of minus n a raised to minus n so there is a transform will be like this simply replace uh, z by 1 by z ok so it becomes 1 by z 1 by z a so if you re rewrite this uh, it becomes 1 by 1 minus a z so this is a transform and the roc ok roc again uh, we need to replace this e z by 1 by z so you can write 1 by z is greater than a or you can write after rearranging you will get uh, mm, it becomes 1 by a and modulus of z ok after rearranging this a will be here and uh, a will be here and z will be here so you will get uh, the ROC like this uh, so you can slightly modify this uh, ROC is modulus of z less than 1 by a ok so you can plot the ROC so here it is a uh, assume that uh, it is 1 by a ok and uh, the ROC is modulus of z less than 1 by a means uh, if uh, like this uh, this is imaginary axis and this is real axis and this is z plane and this is 1 by a and this is a circle so you can construct a circle and modulus of z less than a so this is the ROC ok and uh, in this case uh, if a is greater than uh, 1 you can write like this ok uh, otherwise you need to change okay. 